Hey guys, Dominic aka Chaos Puzzler here. Brr, it's getting cold, plants are already inside. The morning still early and chilly and I'm really quite tired but I'm also excited. I'm tired because yeah, if you live a normal life and besides that a creative life usually lives a better one at night. I'm excited because I got this package today from Mastrop. It has the Kaweco Bung Box June Bright something blue I think is the correct name which is quite silly bundle in it and yeah I'm about to open this thing up in a few moments but just a little bit about the drop about the bundle which is which should be here in the box <coughs> sorry it's a special Kaweco fountain pen for Bung Box in Japan I think it's Bungbox is exclusive for Tokyo. I'm not quite sure about that, which is a shame, but anyway. Then there should be a Sailor Ink in it, also exclusive for Bungbox, and a piston, tiny piston converter for those um, tiny little Kaweco sports. Well, the drop is over. Tough luck, sorry about that, but these items can be purchased if you like them, if you like to buy them individually and this would be a little bit more expensive all about them together add up for to um, $155 approximately and yeah plus shipping costs the converter would be probably bought from Amazon and this adds up a bit the drop was for it came down to 140 US dollars and uh, I don't know what was the shipping to Switzerland it was not that expensive because it took really quite a time and <clears throat> well on top of that there are customs good but I would have paid much more if I would have purchased all those items individually and the customs and the customs yeah can't do much about that. I really like those tiny Kaweco sports. They hold a special place in my heart. I started last year with this one. It's a, from the Cognac edition. And I thought this would be a very cool way to investigate those fun pens further. The body only has plastic parts. So you can smear a bit, a bit of, of silicone grease around the threads and eyedropper it or just leave it. It should also work without grease. I haven't tried that, but with the grease it worked fairly well. Very nice pen. Then I also got this one. I initially wanted the blue one, but this is also very nice. I had this as a companion in my backpack for quite a long time. It had, it came with a medium nib, which is now in this one. This is the stone washed blue. And I really wanted that one. Luckily I, I had the chance to get one for a reasonable price because some of them are already old priced. They're really cute, tiny little pens. They hold one international cartridge, not more. And the converter is a little bit tinier, doesn't hold as much, it's just more like gadget. If you don't want to fill the, the emptied cartridges with a syringe, then you can use the converter, which is also quite a, a nice option. Then about the ink. Also, I'm, a really, I'm really a fan of those sailor rings. They come in different uh, flavors, so to say. There are the regular ones. This is a black document ink I use for sketching. Then they have the Four Seasons series. There are two series, uh, two inks for each season. They're a little bit more exclusive, 
bottles all look the same. I really li like those bottles. They have a very nice shape, very simplistic. They have a plastic insert here, so you can fill it by turning the bottle on top. And then you can get all the last drops out of it. Sometimes those inserts get quite loose and I just take them out. I haven't had the need to use them yet, but you can let them inside the bottle or take them out as you like. Besides the Four Seasons series, there's also uh, a special, also t uh, at times limited edition or editions to be more precise for stores in Japan or Tokyo that is exclusive for them. This is for <coughs> Kingdom Note and I was very lucky to get one from a Japanese friend. And yeah, let's see what's inside this box. Okay. But before that, short coffee break. Remove the packing material and what we have here is the ink. Really very well packed. For bung box. box is a little bit different than the others. It holds the bottle really quite tight into place. I haven't seen this one before. There's also a sheet with instructions how to fill. There we have the filling procedure of the insert. And a little bit on Japanese. Europe Kara June Bright. From Europe, it seems. You have the ink. With a probably custom print out label. And it has a turquoise teal color. Also, it's not as convenient to get in the box as were the others. Strange feature. Okay. And you can also always toss the box away and keep only the bottle. Papers. And now, here we have. It's a wicker pen. Usually the Kaweco pens come in a tin box which has a, a carton sleeve which looks a little bit different. This one is black and only says Kaweco. 
Germany since 1883 and then there is the tin, the metal tin which looks also different than the other tins. It says three times Kaweco, tune bright, something blue, bung box. Yeah, the back side is it is grey. It also had it, this is embossed. So this is a nice dirty tin you can keep for storing the pen or for storing other things. You could probably convert this to a watercolor palette if you like. Let's see what's inside. Little leaflet about bung box, about the pen. It's in Japanese. I know a bit of Japanese, but this is really beyond my knowledge. Okay, ink cartridge wa Europe. Something about the ink cartridges, they are European standards, it says there in the leaflet, I guess. Then <coughs> there you have the usual Kaweco leaflet, which shows their, their sport series. <coughs> the, the pen, the ballpoint pen, the pencil, and so on. Then you have these Kaweco sticker. which comes normally with, with each tin and you have the filling instructions for the converter. Also here is the teeny tiny converter that fits into the sport when extended. It holds a ridiculous amount of ink, it doesn't, doesn't really fill fill all the way so it's just about about two-thirds ink capacity that it can hold and compared to a cartridge to an international cartridge it is it is really ridiculous but it's also nice because if you like to change inks frequently like I do then you don't have to use much ink up until you can refill the pen again. Okay, let's see the pen. As I already knew, the color is more teal like on the pictures you've seen on Mastrop. Also, the imprint is really a bit silly. Tune bright, something blue. Yeah, okay. I get it. The finial, I choose the gold finial. Compared to the silver finial, it looks like this. The back of the pen, nothing special, but yeah, it's the the design and the color that, that stands out. Also, I went with the, with the golden medium nib because I always found the uh, fine a bit a bit too flimsy on that one. The feeling was a bit flimsy or it was a bit a bit sharp. It didn't have the, the tipping. I mean it did have some tipping. Or it did have some tipping but not not really much. And that makes it uh, suitable for sketching but for writing in my case not so much. Yeah, that's the pen. It also comes with a Kaweco Royal Blue cartridge and the Royal Blue is really, 
really a nice color it is a nice behaved ink it is set to dry quickly I have used this ink but I didn't notice extraordinary fast drying times but it's really really nice okay I'm going to put this pen to use in a few seconds you can use this unposted but it's not very convenient at least not for my hands so you absolutely have to post it and if you post it that is the clever thing about it you have a full sized fountain pen This one fits in your pocket really nicely. Take it out, post it, and you have a really nice full size fountain pen. I have a Lamy All Star here, I use for sketching. The color is it's the uh, blue green All Star. The color is similar. unposted they're almost identical in length and the safari is not a small pen um, the all-star is not a small pen of course you can also post the, the Lamy I don't do that I don't really like posting that much but with the Kaweco you really should post it Okay, and then there is scratching because you can't avoid this when posting and uh, the guys from Mastrop said yeah you shouldn't post it if you like to keep it pristine or uh, if you want to scratch it, if you don't want to scratch it but if you want to use the pen you have to post it and yeah it does scratch but anyway. Okay, let's fill this up. Oh boy, I'm really excited. This is where the rubber meets the road. I also have this nice Rhodia notebook I bought in France. I still haven't used it yet. I'm going to use all those things for the first time now. <clears throat> and I'm really excited. Usually I would fill the pen or the converter alone, clean it and then put it into the pen but wow, this is really tough with this tiny converter. Okay, no, no, I've tried it before, it's impossible at least for me. So. You have to open up the pen, insert the converter first, and it won't fit in. Strange. I have to investigate this converter a little further. I should use more pressure I think but I'm not going to do this I'm going to use my other converter which I luckily have here in my drawer yeah this is live no editing this is the other the other converter okay let's try this one don't know if you can see it but the one I already used is a bit wider here I don't know if this comes with usage or if this one is just a little bit tighter also this one has an 
the Kaweco is in, in, in plastic and this one is printed but yeah shouldn't make much difference okay this one fits nicely I think you just should brutally jam in the new converter and it would just fit fine but I'm not doing this okay insert the pen suck up the ink here you have it this is about two-thirds of the capacity of the converter okay I'm using it as it is. Oh, and you could hear those scratching noises of the cap. Bad, bad cap. Okay. This is Rodia notebook. And <clears throat> the pen is the Waco RL Sport. It doesn't say RL Sport, but it is an, it is an RL Sport. Or bung box. It's called June Bright Something Blue. The nib is M. The ink is Sailor, let me have a look, bung box, bung box, also tune, bright, some Thing. blue okay I'm going with a quick brown fox over the lazy dog and what I can tell you <clears throat> it really feels nice the medium nib is just fine it glides no no skipping as you can see with the first filling okay it's just primed the feed is also primed but it flows really nicely no skipping no scratching the paper is a little bit too smooth for my taste with all this smooth components here but it sure does feel nice okay let's see about the wetness More blue in my fingers. Seems to be a fairly wet pen. Can you reverse write? Bit flexing. I don't test flexing very much out here. Yeah. And yeah, of course you can squeeze a bit out, but it's a it's a steel nib. But it's a nice bundle. The ink is not that exciting compared to other inks, compared to other blues, but it sure is nice. If you would like a similar combination of ink and pen without paying that much money you can probably get this one J. Abin La Perle des Encres it says here and the name is Bleu Pervenche 
This is really quite cheap and a really nice ink. I have it in my Bexley. Color is a bit more bluish. You could use this ink in combination with an All Star. I'll probably also use this one, the Waterman Inspired Blue. And have a similar combination for a fraction of the cost. But yeah, that's that's what you pay for exclusivity, exclusivity DB, 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 or how it is called. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.